This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV. I'm at CES 2011. I'm joined by Abraham Cherian, Director of Marketing for Sharp. Welcome to the program, Abraham. Hi, good to be here. Now, obviously, CES 2011, a big focus on 3D. Are you happy with the show so far? It's been great. A uh, lot of focus on 3D, a lot of focus on Quatron, and our specific theme is we're producing bigger Quatron panels this year. Okay, well, why don't we talk first about, you know, Quatron and Nature. So your, your, your new line of, of 3D HDTVs, what makes these uh, HDTVs unique from, from your competitors? Well, the most important thing is the, the quad pixel structure to the panel. So we use an additional pixel, a yellow pixel, which basically improves your color reproduction of yellow, blue, green, anything that has a yellow component. So one of the aspects of having yellow as well is that it has the natural effect of uh, improving brightness. So by not having to turn the backlighting up really high, we're still getting a really high bright brightness out of the television. So our product, all of our Quantron models are Energy Star 5.1. Very, very low power consumption. A 60-inch television uses almost as much as a 100-watt bulb. But the more important thing about Quatron and 3D specifically is because it's such a bright set, the 3D experience ends up being better. Can you elaborate a little bit as to why your televisions would be somewhat brighter than, than your competitors? I mean, how is it that a, a yellow dot makes that possible? Well, as I said, you know, yellow as the color has the natural impact of making it brighter. But more than that, the way we've actually built the panel, it's called the X-Gen panel that we use on our Quatron TVs. X-Gen panels have less shutters built into the panel, so you actually get more lights coming through. We call it a transmissive panel, basically. So when you have a lot more light coming through, again, you don't have to turn your backlighting as high, energy efficiency, but the more important thing about this is by keeping the backlighting uh, constant, and having that high brightness, even when you put on those glasses for 3D, you're not getting that very dark image that some of the other products has. Okay, now separate from brightness, how, uh, and you know, your ad says you have to see it to, to get it, yeah. but how would you describe the change that Quatron offers to the, to the image quality, be it in 3D or in traditional 2D? Well, for, definitely the color reproduction is one. Uh, with yellows, blues, and greens, you're getting a deeper color. That's number one. With 3D specifically, you know, there's crosstalk that you have to address, and our televisions have technology built in with with our Aquamotion 240 um, and a whole bunch of other different technology that eliminates the blur, the crosstalk, and of course I've already talked about the brightness. So. Okay, excellent. Um, now what about uh, the marketing? Who would be applicable for, for televisions like this? How, how are you pricing them out and you know, are they a, a, attainable for consumers? Yeah, Quatron models uh, on the market are well priced for an LED television. They're in the same uh, ballpark that all other LED TVs are, are placed in. Um, our Quatron 3D models now will come in 70 inch as well. And again, with, you know, when most people think of 70 inch, they think you know, $10,000, $12,000. That's not going to be the case with these models. We have 70 inch models, just over $4,000. We'll have, we'll have actually four to five different 70 inch models, all under $6,000. So um, definitely a, a really big improvement. You know, 3D is, is really about a big experience, right? You don't necessarily want to watch 3D on a 24 inch television. You want to see it on a big screen, a 60, a 70 inch, and that's where we're really positioning our product. Excellent. Now, uh, I, I hear repeatedly 70 inch, 70 inch, so, so I take it sharp as pushing larger size models. Um, and you mentioned some pricing as well. It, it, are the larger size models more inexpensive with sharp than with competitors? And if so, why is that the case? Well, we have, we are, we're one of the only manufacturers that actually have our own factory. And we have the most advanced 11th generation um, LCD factory. And with that, we are able to produce the LCD mother glass much bigger than anybody else does. So we can cut larger screen size more economically, which is why we can produce 60s and 70 inch models more economically and incorporate technology that most other brands would find prohibitive. Okay, excellent. Now, in addition to the 3D HDTVs, I understand you have a projector lineup as well. Maybe you could elaborate what you have for home enthusiasts who, who like to buy projectors. I know you like 3D gaming, and I think gaming on a 100-inch on a screen is probably even more immersive than a 70-inch. So we do have a 3D projector. Um, it's our DLP projector, available very soon. Uh, again, very retail, uh, retail friendly in terms of its price. It's in the $5,000 range. Um, it comes with two glasses for 3D, and you know whether it's a Quatron or a projector that does 3D, it's not that it only does 3D, of course. You can watch 2D programming, and even with our Quatrons, you can take 2D programming and up 
convert it to 3D as well. Excellent. What's the uh, resolution of the projector? Um, all of our product that I've talked about, the Quatron and the projector, 1080p resolution. Excellent. And when uh, I know you've been marketing the Quatron for a while now, but yeah. what's the availability of your, your most recent sets? And for the projector, I know you mentioned soon, yeah. can you give some estimates on when we'll start seeing these products? The projector will be in the market in the next two to three weeks. And uh, most of the new models that you see here start rolling out in the next month. And, you know, the 70 inch the model that we see here in the front, that'll come out towards the end of summer. Okay, excellent. One more question. On the topic of the projectors, just sure. occurred to me. Uh, the connectivity. I know uh, HDMI 1.4 is very important for gamers, for the PC. Yep. Are, are there any other types of connectors like DisplayPort? Like, can you elaborate as to the connections that are available for the projector? The projector has HDMI 1.4. Um, and it has standard video inputs, but there are no specific inputs, uh, the ones that you may be referring to that are built into that projector. Okay. All right. So we'll, we'll wait and see. But that's fantastic. Thanks so much for joining us. We've been talking to, to Abraham Cherian, Director of Marketing for Sharp. Thanks again for joining us. You've been watching MTVS TV. I'm Neil Schneider. We'll be back with more from CES 2011.